Right, so we, the usual duo of reaction and review segment, are going to go and see Doolittle. Uh, it's been out for a weekish, about that. About a week, yeah. Um, so, because of that, there, I'm going to say right now there are going to be spoilers in this. Just basically, just just straight out discussing after the film. Um, different things I've heard. I've heard nothing. Mum's heard nothing. I've heard that the only thing I've heard that it was it it wasn't a failure. It just wasn't a big success in the box office on the uh, first few days apparently. So. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> this is one of the films of, I'm going to just watch it as a film, not because it's got Robert Downey Jr., well, kind of is, but yeah, I'm not going to watch it thinking it's Iron Man playing a uh, man talking to animals, no. so. I think it's going to be a bit like have to just wait and see see what we will be getting into so at the moment we are just driving there so it's gonna be a little while With funny look so I don't want it happening in right so we're here a few moments we're going to go in we're going to retrieve snacks and go watch the film I'm not going to take any recording inside because the last time I did that with Star Wars I think it was Star Wars that we watched okay. here joke I, I, can't remember. I can't remember one of the times we watched it here I got funny looks basically I'm guessing just because I was looking around anyway right we're gonna go watch the film and I will let you know what I think of it Right, so, we've just come out. I will let you, well, I'll say what you said before we right. got in the car. What I was saying was, I enjoyed it. I personally felt that Robert Downey was reining in the manicness of the character, perhaps so as one could be a Johnny Depp Captain Sparrow type because it is kind of the, there are boats and ships and stuff and it could be very easily he's going down the, the Jack Sparrow route. The accent was a little bit annoying but again I think that's because if he had an English accent it would have been oh it's Sherlock Holmes the low animals. But I enjoyed it. It was long enough. Yeah. Any longer it would have been. It would have been a. Oh, I um, <coughs> I think any longer would have been dragging it out. Yeah. Because it was a decent. It it was a good length. It had humorous moments. Yeah. Actually, My I things. Yeah, the accent was a bit. The, the accent. It was going be. from f from what I could hear. I think it was Welsh. It was going from one to another, and like he couldn't decide what he was. And I, the beginning of the film, I don't know if that's how it, but it came, to me, it was like he'd had to dub himself in at the beginning, because you never actually saw his mouth. Yeah. It was always him talking from the back. So I don't know what that was about, or it was someone else playing the character and he then dubbed the voice out. I don't know what it was. I know it was made the same time, around the same time as Endgame, so yeah. maybe it wasn't available for anything, I don't know. But, yes, my things, the accent, um, it's annoying. The animals are very funny. 
it's annoying watching a film mainly of animals like that is and you know you can hear the voices but you can't figure out who it is so Yes. <clears throat> um, it goes a little bit dark. It well, not dark. It's a bit. It goes a bit opposite end of the scale with the dragon. Like yeah. I said, I did explain at the beginning of this that there are going to be spoilers because it's been out for a week. So if you didn't listen to that bit, that's your own fault. So um, yeah. It, it, there, there was a dragon eating people. He didn't actually see them eat people. So. Um, but I enjoyed it. I wasn't going expecting to see Iron Man playing a Welshman. I wasn't going to expect that. I love the costumes. The the whole thing was brilliant. Love the costumes. Love the sex. There was humour and action pretty much throughout, so you never got moments of boredom. Um. I did one stage think that the boy was going to be his son and that he's... Because obviously they were looking after him yeah. because his mother had died. So it brought about to her, her sister or sister. Yeah. And then obviously... And then when he went and got the... Um, he got the book and he used it... It was like a threatener like identification thing. I, yeah. And he opened it. Yeah. And like, It's a bit. If 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 that if if she it's was. It's a bit the, not advanced, not as advanced as for that, surely. The bloke's daughter. <coughs> yeah. Perhaps he could open it with his eye because he was related. Yeah. But well, that never happened. So I don't know if that. I just saw more into the story than there was. I don't know. Um. But yeah. Good. <coughs> yes. Um. It does, you you can tell, if you watch trailers like I do in them films, you can notice differences. Because in the trailer, you know the bit where he, well, in the film, you know the bit where he walks out the door at the beginning? You know, yeah. As he's, as he's first going off. Yeah. In the trailer, he walks out and then holds the door and looks in and then closes it. Yeah. In the film, he just walks out and closes the door, he doesn't look back. So that is one example of a trailer doing what it's meant to be doing. Did you want to? No. You didn't want to cry? No. There wasn't really anything there to cry about. No. But no, I would say it was emotional. There wasn't any sit. I think if. It could have been, maybe. It could have been. The squirrel? Being shot was more funny because because he yeah no but I'm just, yeah no yeah. but I mean if like if one of the animals like one of, one of the, one of the major animals had got yeah if one of the animals had got injured yeah I think CGI I think then it would have maybe yeah but I think because it's kind of for children you can't really kill animals in. Ways. I think that's why they made the sh squirrel shooting very funny. Now, let's just talk about the screening of the audience and the floor of the screening. I don't normally do this, but I'm, I won't say the film, not the film, the cinema company that we went to. I don't think I've said it in the video, I can't remember. The floors were dirty, they weren't completely clean. The seats the were not great. Needs of, it needs a bit of updating. The chairs, not that much space. Um, I'm pretty sure we went, we sat in the comfortable seats in Star Wars. Uh, they're harder than the standard seats, they're much more soft. The cup holders and the armrests are very big, but they don't move. And there were... It was actually quite busy. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that busy. But, um... 
yeah. They, they were noisy. You can't do much about yeah. You can't do much about noisy audience, but having <coughs> okay, having a group of three kids, yeah, that's expected to be you know noisy. Well, they weren't noisy. They were annoying at the beginning. But having them allowed to walk in to a screen in a room that is dark with a bloody mask. I think it's a bit. He had a bloody. It was like a. I don't know what it. I think it was like a Borderlands mask or something. But it was a full face plastic mask. You wouldn't be able to see his face. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be allowed. Because if. I know. But. Surely. I'm not being rude, but he could be. He could be. He could have just been a midget with a knife. Pretending to be a kid. But I'm not saying all midgets are bad. But yeah. But no, yeah. The film. I would recommend it as a uh, a family. Well, older children. Not so much like five or six, but maybe like I don't know. No, oh, six, mate. Maybe not. Not young but children. It's now forty, so it wasn't too long. Yeah. Um, I'd say I don't know, eight plus eight years. Children that can sit and actually watch a film and not get distracted or bored. Um, but uh, I'd recommend it for that family fun types. It gets a bit funny at the end with a dragon eating people, but apart from that, it's very good. You got ships, you got animals talking, you got dragons, and it's funny. So, Michael Sheen being Michael Sheen. Yeah, Michael Sheen imitating every known person in existence, basically. Um, but no, very good, very much enjoyed it. Don't know when this is going to go out, but probably not tonight because I'm doing a something for the gaming part, so it probably won't be tonight, it might be tomorrow, I don't know. But, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.